Hello, Gravy Timmy. It's the time for festive joy. That's right. I Star Productions uploaded Hoy 4. Truly the festivus of treats down your damn mouth. Remember to hit the subscribe button because at 800,000 subscribers, I'm doing my Alf Landon playthrough. But first, quick word from today's sponsor. Big shout out to today's sponsor, Star Trek Fleet Command. What have I told you? One of the most beloved Star Trek franchises is finally arriving in Star Trek Fleet Command. Say hello to the Deep Space nine crew with crewmates like Cisco, Kira or Miles the crew's primary focus will be on ship survivability over damage and it won't just be brand new officers you can get started with the missions based on the narrative of the Deep Space Nine and Alliance star bases now that's a lot of content Alliance star bases are a physical embodiment of an Alliance strength which push members to work together for shared progression and mutual benefits as they navigate inter Alliance diplomacy which means now you and your friends can all get together and work together to build yourself a star base. And by contributing to an alliance star base, an alliance can then take control over the new systems and their resources in order to upgrade the base to provide even more buffs to you and your teammates. So why don't you get yourself started today with Star Trek Fleet Command by clicking my link down below. Go enjoy the brand new narrative missions and all of the new officers that you can get in Star Trek Fleet Command. And Deep Space Nine today available on iOS, Android, and Windows. So thank you very much, Star Trek Fleet Command, for sponsoring the video and get yourself started today by clicking that link down below. All right, Gravy Timmies, today you know exactly what we're doing. We're looking at more focus trees in Hoi 4 that nobody does because there's no reason to ever do them. May I interest you in a hopped cup of hungry? It's uh, it's quite cold out, so let me warm you up with a cold cup of boredom over here today. So as you know, hungry actually probably has one of the funnest trees in Hoi 4 that were released in one of the older DLCs. Not the funnest like nowadays, but when it came out, pretty good for its time. Nowadays though, I do have to admit, while I still find it fun, it is a little bit boring. Uh, you see, the funnest path, and probably the uh, most popular path, I'd love to see a statistic on this by the way, at Paradox Interactive, is the rebuilding of Austria-Hungary. And as you can see, it's not exactly a very in-depth focus tree to go through. And uh, as you know, of course, uh, doing this actually puts you at pretty uh, quick odds with the Germans and just about anyone else for reclaiming your land as Austria-Hungary. Uh, although, of course, there are a few games gimmicks to get around that, but I don't think it's fair to uh, actually, you know, just rely on gimmicks for a nation to be fun. Which is why, officially, in the ISAR Productions lore, I am knocking Hungry down one on my official Paradox Hungry tier list wherever I put them. And then I'm also going to raise Poland up by one. I really like Poland now. Uh, but today, you may be wondering exactly what we are going to do. Of course, a lot of people have already known, because I've covered it in a video a long time ago when I was going through bad folk streams back in the day, that the communist side isn't very good. Although you do get Mr. Eggman himself in charge. Look at that brown, bald head. Yeah, wow, he looks cool, communist hungry, wow. It's gonna be a bit awkward if Braun doesn't put the photo of the, the Mr. Eggman communist hungry guy there. Or, in fact, just put, a, just put a picture right now of an egg. Yeah, that's right, gotta, <laughs> gotta make my money back somehow with this man. No, we're not looking at the communist side of the tree today. In fact, we're going over here to the left. <laughs> we're going democratic king. <laughs> wow. Democratic monarchist Hungary. <laughs> what a Christmas tree! Now, I don't think I've ever willingly done elect a democratic king before, but as you can see, as you go down, it very quickly doesn't go anywhere. Yeah, this kind of uh, teeters off pretty much to nowhere. So, uh, we have the option to join the allies, which, if I'm going democratic anyway, this is pointless. I could just use the feature um, join faction. I imagine. Or I can go ahead and uh, do the Balkan Pact where I can create my own faction with Romania. And I'm guaranteeing if Romania says no, which they more than likely will because they will get influenced by the Germans later on, I'll just join the Allies anyway. So I might as well go for the Romanian one. Yeah, I would love to know if anyone has actually ever done the Democratic King. And if you have, 
Did you accidentally hit this focus tree, then walk away from the keyboard for four minutes? The first time anyone has ever hired this man. You know, it's been like 10 minutes now, and I'm really starting to question my life now that I'm playing Democratic Hungarian Monarchist Hungary. Where did it all go right, am I right? And maybe I could just switch up at the last minute and just go the historical... <laughs> I guess what I could do is just create a really good plane. Uh, Hungary is blessed to have just a ton of aluminiums, which is great. Uh, and I'll be in the Allies anyway, so I guess I could get rubber. I'm just obviously going to have to hold out against a very big German threat. There we go. So we've got our monarch back. We've got Karl Wilhelm V himself. And that also, I don't know why on earth this is a thing. If I'm at war, I can call Sweden in for support. I, I, okay. Um, imagine being at war with like the strongest person ever, and then being like, just hold it, hold it right there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call in my comatose grandmother to come help me. Depressing. I just realized, uh, <laughs> Democratic Hungary doesn't even get a, their own leader portrait. <laughs> That's how you know we're going down the deep recesses of Hoi4 content nobody has bothered to look at for probably five years. So we do get to revise the Treaty of Trianon, which is our post-World War One treaty that is absolutely crippling us beyond belief. Uh, it's not exactly fully gone, but it will do a little bit, I suppose. Worst part about this is that I think no matter what I do, the unlikely alliance with Romania, that they will flip to um, Axis government at some point, which means they're just gonna leave me. <laughs> there you go, look, I've got a friend that will never backstab me, right? Actually, I mean, technically, all right, if they take over the faction, which I don't know if the AI is even programmed to do, uh, they wouldn't be able to leave it. They'd have to kick me out, which w you wouldn't do that to me, right? right so whenever um, this DLC was being made, I imagine they were like, you formed the Balkan Pact, well done. Uh, anyway, uh, it's time for me to go home, so good luck with the rest of your playthrough. Thought about this too, the Germans still have the focus in their tree to align me. Um, so I think I'm going to slowly turn fascist anyway. <laughs> Don't worry, I have my non-aggression pact. <laughs> oh, we're sweet. That's literally, it's already happening. I can literally see you. <laughs> I can see you. <laughs> Romania did a uh, pro-allied government. Uh, will they switch though? They have the choice and the possibility to do so. Yeah, the checks are gone, which means World War II is about to start. Uh, where my place in this world is going to be? Who knows? Uh, hopefully my place is uh, over very quickly. It just ended with France, which can, um, can only mean one thing, really. Not gonna be a France anytime soon. Uh, we'll just uh, go to hell. Uh, Mia's hungry. And my best friend, Romania. That is definitely my best friend, right? Please, Romania. Uh, we're just hanging out. Uh, try not to get involved in all the ongoing affairs of the world. Uh, just... Just leave us out of it, please. Uh, realistically, I'm not too sure what we're gonna do. Uh, I hope Romania does give up Bessarabia, though, or else that is gonna be a little bit awkward. Um, <laughs> I think we could take the Soviets, though, funnily enough. I assume the Romanians probably will give up Bessarabia, as the AI will automatically detect a inkling of fun for democratic Hungary, and of course that is not allowed. Wondering, actually, because you get the cast focus research, but there are no close air support models now, what does this give you? Does this just give me another bonus for a light frame? I'm just gonna do it and find out. Uh, cause yeah, we already have the 1944 fighter like two years ahead of time and 100% research on it, so we can get it in like just under a year, but I I'm just gonna see what this other bonus will give us on top of that. But you know what? It was nice knowing you, Romania. <laughs> I don't know what that actually gives us then. So that gives us another two year ahead of time, maybe on another light frame if I do this one. I who knows? We'll we're about to find out. Plan to keep Romania in my faction. We got to war the Soviets. Oh, they actually joined. Okay. All right, that's probably not the best decision for you. That I do get to up my conscription vampire all the way now, which I definitely need to do. For all you guys, you probably shouldn't push. Um, we're much better on the defensive here, guys. We are holding, and all it costed us was our friendship, Romania. You tried to get away. But you're not allowed to get away. So you do just get another light airframe bonus from uh, that that buff you get. So I guess if I research rockets, I could get jet fighter. 
but um, I'm a little bit off of that, and uh, I've taken 30... <laughs> I, okay, I didn't know we were doing that well. The problem is I really want to do, like, my plane, <laughs> but my plane is it's kind of eating all the rest of the industry. <laughs> Of course, Germans have to come along and spoil our fun, even though we were single-handedly winning this war. So realistically, all we've done here is just weaken the Soviets enough that the Germans could then just roll over them. I completely forgot. I could call Sweden in for help. Hello? Sweden doesn't like me. Oh, they did send me 500 guns and 8,000 manpower. What if I click it again? Sweden joined. <laughs> Sweden, get on in. That genuinely might be one of the most pointless focuses in the game. So yeah, I'm not really doing anything at the moment. I'm just beating up their air force. Uh, we've lost 19 planes to their 97 so far. Um, they're pretty good. Uh, they're definitely pretty good considering I only have a hundred planes up in the air. Uh, the Germans are obviously also got planes up here. Maybe the Romanians too. Yeah, the, and the Swedes. <laughs> what a task force we've got here. So if we look at our war participation here, we have destroyed almost 500 planes. But um, yeah, we're at 10%. The Romanians got 28% and it looks like the Germans are hogging all the fun. May I ask, at what point do I admit that I am now just playing uh, historical Hungary? And, uh, that will be never. I am playing Democratic Hungary, just helping with the... <laughs> I'm just, I'm not even gonna help anymore. Uh, I said I'm gonna prepare for something else. Now that I've actually been managing, uh, to up my conscription, because I'm at war with someone, I'm gonna put the men into the field. Will they actually lend-lease me? I'm gonna go to war with you guys. Wait, does that mean other people will lend-lease me if I just do this? <laughs> <laughs> Suckers! Yeah, Germans won't give me anything though. Um, they they currently, I'm assuming, yeah, they don't have any guns. Probably due to massive supply issues out east, I imagine. Is now it's time for the old Hungarian switch. Don't look that up on Urban Dictionary. I assume Romania is not going to do too well, so I'm just going to hold my country, and I'm sure they'll definitely be able to hold their country too. In we go. I'm not too sure how this is going to go, but I'm also going to help you with a Japanese. Japanese allies who are best friends. Romania's actually going in. Go Romania! Go Romania! I'm just gonna let the Romanians do whatever they want, but I am not moving off of this fullback line. And my entire industry is now just, um, well, dependent on Romania now, actually. Uh, uh, you know, Sweden, forgot about you. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're also coming into the war, the Italian war on Ethiopia. Yes, then I'm bothering to put our planes over us, and even though I've only got like 59 uh, casts, we are still doing a, uh, a little bit of cast damage to them, which is helping us out quite a bit. I just gotta wait for the rest of the world to come rescue me in Romania. And then it doesn't matter anyway, because as soon as this war's over, we're still gonna be at war with the Soviets. <laughs> Maybe I will race America for the nuclear bomb. You can see we are absolutely on top of the world right now. We have lost a couple of tiles, but I don't think that matters. It looks like it might be the end of the Germans pretty soon. Surprisingly, even the Romanians have held on, albeit uh, in a very odd fashion. Yeah, the Romanians have died, and now we are just the last bastion of freedom over here. We probably could try a breakout, but uh, at the same time, I don't think it's worth it because we're immediately going to still be at war with the Soviets as soon as this war ends. So I think I'm just going to wait for the Allies to do their job, hopefully. Please. Looks like the Allies forgot to put their big boy pants on. Well done, guys. Well done. Germans did do their focus to uh, align me, by the way, as you can see from my interesting political pie chart right now. Good to see that the AI actually re-naval invaded this area, then just to lose it immediately again. And see, I've had to take things into my own hands after watching the Allies pull this off. Seeing the event for the fall of Paris, and at the same time seeing the event for the fall of Berlin, you know, I just... It's a little bit confusing. I think the Allies have this covered now, and I do have Vienna, so I'm pretty sure they just need to take Berlin and the Germans are done for now. There you go. They did it. Nice one, guys. Great to be a part of the team, by the way. Romanians just got spat back out. They're immediately just getting reinvaded by the Soviets. <laughs> do actually have some points here. Uh, I guess I could take a bit of land, I, I think. Go, oh, that should help. I think the Turks just declared we're on the Soviets. 
of Japan, but it looks like they've got this one sorted. Although, knowing the Allies right now, they'll lose it all in a second from a naval invasion researching nukes, and I... Okay, I guess I got nukes. I really don't know what the worst part about all of this is. I, I just think the fact that this exists is enough, really. Got words for this peace conference right here. But uh, you do you, China. You pieced out the uh, co-prosperity spear. So, uh... <laughs> China's now in Iran, but <laughs> I'm just snaking. The Soviets don't even have an army left. Finally! I, I don't even want any land. I just... I don't, I don't ever want to play Democratic Hungary again. No. Are you happy with my giant Hungary? Um, so overall, it's 1947. Never do it. Don't do Democratic Hungary. I think it may have been the worst experience of my life. Uh, hey, it's another day in the hoi for fun madness focuses that nobody does. And now you know why nobody does it. <laughs> but if you enjoyed the video and you want to carry on your hoi for adventure on this channel, feel free to leave a like. Hit the subscribe button down below. But until next time, dear viewer, I need to have a long, hard think about my life.